Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan and I'm here with Scott from Plex and I want to educate my viewers and my followers on what Plex actually is and what to expect from them in 2018. So first off, what is Plex? Like, Awesome question. One of my favorite questions. <laughs> Plex is a system for helping people organize their personal media. That's one of the most important things that we've been doing for a long time. And to us, that means music, that means photos, that means videos, movies, TV shows, etc. And our aim is to really help people that are starting to cut the cord, you know, help organize their digital life. So we now have added the ability to, um, you know, get an HD antenna and a tuner and be able to do live TV integration with a really powerful DVR. Yep. We've launched a service that um, is focused on current uh, videos, news. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got you know almost 200 publishers, local, national, and international news across a bunch of different topics from a bunch of really great sources. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to help people that are starting to become streaming first customers. They're um, you know they, they become part of their lifestyle. Okay. And you don't have to have like a DVR box or anything special. Actually, you can use like a Chromecast or like an Nvidia Shield TV. Exactly. So, something like a, an Android powered TV streaming device and have an all in one entertainment system. Exactly. If you've got an Nvidia Shield, you've got everything you need to basically cut the cord and become a streaming first consumer for Plex and you know, a handful of other services. Really not. And what, what's the pricing like for Plex? So it's actually a freemium model. So all of our software is available for free. You get kind of a basic version. It's really awesome. And, you know, most of our users end up using that, but then we've got a Plex Pass subscription mm -hmm. that gives you a bunch of other features. So the live TV and DVR integration requires a Plex Pass. We've got some really powerful premium music features. We've got the ability to take the content and sync it to your mobile device and take it with you on the road and a whole bunch of other stuff, including the ability to run a Plex Media server in the cloud yep. and not even have to have a server inside your so home. So awesome. Yeah, I'm actually a Plex Premium member myself and I love it. It's my boy. So what about Plex Music? Like, uh, can, can you explain that and like some integrations with other uh, manufacturers like Sonos? Yeah. So um, one of the really powerful things that we do is we have a, um, the ability to take your music collection and just make it feel like a Spotify Plus, right? Okay. So um, obviously people are, are going to use those streaming services, but I, I still have a really large music collection that I've curated over many years, and I can stream it anywhere across all of my devices, whether it's a TV, my mobile device, in the home, outside the home, and we've been focusing a lot on things like Sonos and Alexa integration as well. So it's locally and remotely? Yes. That's awesome. Exactly. That's awesome. So here's a quick question. Say I have like my grandfather or one of my uncles and they're not too tech savvy but they know how to stream on Netflix or they know how to stream on Spotify. How could I describe Plex to them? All right, so that's fair. So you've got, I mean, the interface is not going to be wildly different. We think ours is a little bit better, <laughs> but it's, it's a gorgeous more, interface. Thank you. So that's and that's for us. We're all about the user experience. It really is user experience first. But the content is not content that you're that's been licensed or created by us, right? right? This is content that you're providing. It's your music collection, your photo collection, your home videos, your ripped DVDs, your DVR content, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So the difference is it's giving you the ability to you know basically access all this content in a really, really beautiful way across all your devices no matter where you are. So it's pretty pretty much content organized based on your likes because obviously you've downloaded it and, and you bought it and you can stream it anytime you want. Exactly. Including your photos. Including your photos and Which is videos. really awesome. Yep. In the future, do you think that Plex could integrate well with something like Spotify where you can download your music still if you have a premium subscription? So we, we're starting to look, you know, if you look at like where we're going over time, we would really love to get more and more streaming content into Plex, right? We started, I mentioned news, you got the live TV coming in mm -hmm. over the air, but we're going to start adding more and more content to the system over time. Time. A little early to kind of you know say exactly what that's going to be, but we would love. I mean, our, our goal is to get as much content into this one amazing experience that knows you as possible. That's awesome. What about uh, with YouTube? Anything with YouTube? Nothing. Nothing in particular with YouTube to talk about right now. Okay, just checking because obviously <laughs> we're fair. here for YouTube. So, <laughs> well, and we are definitely one of the things that we're going to be doing is you know creators like yourselves. We're going to want to get that content into our system, whether it's in news, if it's you know real topical current stuff. We're going to want to get that into our news solution, um, and we're also going to start you know over time giving you know folks like yourselves a place to get this content where it's a little bit less of a sea of cat videos and stuff like that. That would be awesome to have like a somewhat of a competitor with you. YouTube or Vimeo or something like that. Yeah. That'd be awesome. And last question. So with things like Google Drive and uh, iCloud storage really isn't going anywhere, but like Google Drive, Dropbox, you know, they're talking about getting rid of their cloud storage system. Do isn't you that think all they do? That's all, <laughs> pretty much. 
Do you think Plex could come in and offer a file system? Because you already have movies, music, and photos. So could so you we've, do files? We've, we've talked about it. It's a tough business. I mean, the cloud storage business is a very competitive, very commodity-driven business. I don't know if we will ourselves do it, but we're actually starting to talk to a number of different partners about the possibilities and trying to do it at the right model and the right price point that's optimized for streaming videos and streaming photos and doing that. So again, too early to say, but we're definitely in some pretty interesting discussions. That'd be awesome because I'm I'm a huge fan of like NAS systems, and if you can get a NAS without breaking the bank and just using your home PC, I'm all for that. Absolutely. Especially with video editing. Uh -huh. so I appreciate it, Scott. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Take it easy. Cheers.